The areas that I instruct on in the AccountingTax.com program really start with the main one of lead generation and marketing. Now, within lead generation and marketing, there are a ton of different tactics that are out there in today's world that could work. What are the ones that you should be doing and what are the ones that you should be learning that will actually get you the best results quickest and uh, will also be able to get you, you know, consistent lead generation uh, for your firm and for your business as you move forward. So what are those different areas that you should be focusing on now and what are those areas that are going to be changing next? year and the year after that lead generation is really a constant moving item that you know there's new tech techniques there's new uh, technology apps that are out there to utilize but really it's exciting because once you get that pipeline going once you start having you know a ton of different sales calls every single week it really gives you the opportunity to feel confident in going into that sales call and knowing that no matter what happens on this call I have another meeting that's going to show up right there after uh, so I really get to work with the accountingtax.com community uh, and, and help with their lead generation, helping them build that pipeline, as well as you know any different techniques and tactics that are out there that they're thinking about using, what's going to work, what's not going to work, and how can I shift my messaging to really communicate with a prospect, even if I've never met them before in person, or if they don't know, even know who I am, how do I communicate that in messaging to really get that person excited about getting on the phone with you and then converting them into a client. So lead generation marketing is really the main area that I like to focus on and I like to instruct on. However, a couple different other areas that I really enjoy are prospects improvement you know what are the main problems that you're having uh, at this current day and time and how can you implement processes inside your practice or inside your business in order to um, make it as efficient as possible do we automate it do we outsource it do we do we uh, just decide to not do it at all because it's actually not a top priority so what are those different areas and how can we create processes and structure in our firm to allow us to be successful and not have to work more and make more instead of it's work less and make more that kind of uh, same so process improvement is an area I also really enjoy working on the mindset section uh, with our clients I think that mindset is one of the reasons that why that uh, clients are being held back you know they know what they need to do but yet they're still not doing it so what are those barriers what are those mental barriers what are those challenges what are those emotions what are those fears that are coming out of them that's causing them to not want to push forward so I really enjoy working on the mindset aspect of it because it's so ingrained in everything that we do uh, and, 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 and in general it's just something that's very powerful that I get to see a lot of people utilize so really lead generation process improvement mindset uh, and then a couple of different other questions as they come up but that's really where I get to work on and what I get to instruct the accounting tax community on so I have a very fun uh, background when it comes to accounting. I started originally as an accounts receivable clerk when I was 16 years old for my father's company. I got yelled at on my first call and I started crying and I was like, "Who, whoever goes into this field, what is this field of accounting? Like, who would ever want to do accounts receivable? Uh, so I, I really got the slop of accounting back when I was 16 years old. But I, uh, I started there and I started to kind of get into the numbers a little bit and then, you know, as I continued to work for his company, I started to learn more about the accounting side of the business and I started to be able to pull reports and really understand numbers and see from an operations perspective how those numbers could help make decisions moving forward and I started to become really intrigued and really interested in what accounting could do for a business and so I wanted up. Um, I actually was a marine biology major when I was in college, but I was still working for my father's company and I think marine biology and accounting were kind of fighting each other and accounting won. So I dropped the marine biology major and I became an accounting major and for me it was super simple. It was an easy equation, it was uh, easy math and it was something that I just understood because I already knew what a balance sheet was when I was 17 years old. I already knew what an income statement was. I already knew how things flowed. I already knew what segregation of duties was back in the day because I, you know, you could witness certain things that were going on. So I had the opportunity to experience all of that. So when it came to, you know, the the classroom, it was super easy for me to understand it. And having that experience just made the theory side just, you know, a no-brainer for me. So I went ahead and I, you know, became an accounting major. Then I went and I I took the CPA exam. That was a whole disaster in itself. I mean, I. I, uh, I, I felt like you know you needed to be so smart and you needed to be able to pass this exam and your intelligence was in tied to passing the CPA exam. And what happened for me was I got so scared of this exam that I winded up you know doing pretty poorly on it. I, I think I failed three times in a row and I was actually dating Andrew at the time and you know he was the one that told me, 
look, you know, your intelligence isn't really tied to this exam. Like, you're pretty smart. You don't necessarily need this exam to tell you that you're pretty smart. So I let go of that idea that my intelligence wasn't tied to the exam, and then I wound up passing all four of them in a row. So, you know, it was a very emotional journey for me uh, to take that CPA exam, uh, and I hated every minute of it, uh, and, I, and I felt like it was cruel and something that I just didn't want to do. But I wound up passing it, and then I went into public accounting, uh, where I worked as an auditor for, for quite a while. And then after that, Andrew and I decided to become entrepreneurs, and uh, we fell into starting, you know, AccountingTax.com and and working with the community and, and helping other people grow. So we kind of fell in and out of the accounting world, but it's always kind of, I always had a tie to it. You know, it was something that I always understood. And I think a lot of the realization that I wanted to be in accounting was that, you know, I got that opportunity to really experience it as somebody who was in business. And I had that experience, you know, I was nine years old and my dad would have dinner table conversations about the company. So I, I loved business and I loved every aspect of it. And so I just knew that I wanted to be a part of it and accounting was my path to do that. I see the future of accounting actually evolving as much as it already has. I know back in the day, I think it was in the 80s, you're using green sheets, uh, you know, people were real skeptical about computers. I mean, nowadays, if you have no knowledge of accounting, you can start up a QuickBooks file, you can start up a zero file, and you can actually get it to work. So I think that, you know, technology has just come in and uh, really given the opportunity to people that, you know, didn't have all those years of accounting, didn't have all that experience, given them that opportunity to, you know, jump in, you know, head first and start to figure it out. I mean, there's plenty of business owners out there now that are doing their own accounting because technology has been able to make it simpler and simpler. So I think the accounting industry is so used to just doing the data entry and it's not really what's useful anymore because the technology has gotten to a place where it just does it for you. Instead, we need thinkers. We need people trying to analyze problems and looking at the numbers and thinking, where are the areas of opportunity that I can help this business owner? What are the different areas that I feel like I can come in and I can save them more money or save them more time or give them less headache in what it, what it is that they're facing? I'm now go coming in as an advisor instead of somebody that, here, just give me your numbers, I'll just put them into a spreadsheet and I'll send them to you. At the of every single month. So I think that you know it's it's forcing accountants to actually become smarter and be better at what they do. You know, they, they can't just you know enter a tax return and then that's it, that's all they do. Instead, they're actually communicating with clients, they're they're helping clients, they're having much more of an impact. Uh, and in turn, that's making the accountant more wealthy and helping them grow their firm because they're providing value and that value is uh, high paying. So I think that the accounting industry has been changing and I think it's gonna change even more significantly in these next few years. And, uh, as we as we see the accounting industry start to change, I think more and more people are going to be interested in uh, utilizing things like AI inside some of these you know accounting softwares and whatnot. So I really do believe that it's going to change rapidly. And if you're not willing to uh, you know reassess what you're currently doing, if you want to provide more value, if you want to be more helpful, if you want to help solve more problems and do things that the technology can't, then you don't need to be worried. But if you want to stay and do the same things that you've always done, and it's this way, and it's my way their highway, then that's not really going to work and you're going to start to see, you know, different types of accountants come in and just demolish your market. So I think that, you know, uh, technology out there is uh, causing the, a little bit of a disruption in the accounting industry and I think it's a really good thing. My advice for somebody thinking about getting into accounting is do it. <laughs> um, and the reason why I say do it is because it is it touches every single aspect of the business world. If you understand accounting, if you understand the finances and you start to think like a fi with a financial background, then you can come into a meeting, you can come into a situation, you can analyze things from a different perspective that a lot of people don't understand and don't want to understand. You know, the, the, oh, I don't want to look at the numbers, or I don't want to see the numbers. I mean, a lot of that is super interesting and, for, and, and, and that gives you a, almost a leg up in the business world if that's what's something that you're interested in doing. So. If you are interested in doing accounting or thinking about going into accounting, I would say absolutely jump into it. And you know, one of the amazing things about today's world is there's so much information out there about accounting. You know, if you wanted to start learning what a journal entry was, you could just type into Google what is a journal entry. You know, so you, it, it's all right there. It's available to you. There's there's books on it. You know, there's programs like AccountingTax.com programs where we train on it as well. So you know, there's information out there that's really available to you, and you don't have to necessarily go 
on this crazy path of taking four years of college and then a master's degree and then go pass an exam. You don't have to do all of that if you want to become an accountant. You know, so and that, that's kind of the craziness that uh, you might think that you need to do. Oh, well, I want to become an accountant, so I need to spend all this time and do all these things. Well, the truth of the matter is, if you want to become an accountant, you can jump online. You can start learning how to do that today. So I would say if you are thinking about it, why not just start to dip your toes in, play around with it. You know, one of the first things I would say is if you are interested in, 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 in any kind of aspect of the accounting world, create your own QuickBooks file, create your own Zero file, your account, pull up an accounting software and do your personal accounting and see how you do it, see how you like it. Do you like running reports? Do you like analyzing your bank transactions? Do you like thinking about how you can save more money? Like, is all that stuff interesting to you? And if it is, then you know that this is something that you should pursue even further. I think that people need to understand that they don't know everything. I think as accountants, we think that, oh, I need to have everything in my backpack before I go to a client. So I know if they ask me something, I'm going to know what it is because it's in my backpack. Well, the truth of the matter is that's impossible. You're not going to know everything about everything about anything. I mean, it, there's too much information being created in today's world where you're going to know everything about everything every, everything. So be okay with not knowing everything. And instead, get really good at trying to problem solve. You know, become the, an amazing problem solver. You know, if something comes up, it's okay that you don't have the answer right away. You can go figure it out. You'll do whatever it takes to figure it out. Those are the aspects that I think, you know, accountants really think that they, you know, oh, well, I, I read this textbook and, and, and now, I, now I should be good. But instead, it, it, it just, the business world is changing so much. There's so many different aspects that you're not going to know right off the bat and be okay with not knowing everything. And instead, be really good at picking up on the things that you think that you're going to go research. You know, you, if there's a problem that comes up, you know, like, you know what, I not, might not necessarily know that right now, but I will know that by the end of tonight. Or I will know that, know that by the end of this week. You know, and be really good at going out and searching that information and, 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 and developing uh, the problem solving skills that I think so many people just think is not important anymore. I think that college was something that was a next step for me from high school. Uh, it, was, it was almost like a predetermined path. It wasn't something that was necessarily off the table uh, of not actually going to college. I think that, you know, back in the day in, in my parents' generation, you know, it was really special to go to college. It was, not everybody did it. You know, other people went to vocational schools or went right into getting a job. You know, there's not a lot of people that went to college back then. And so now it's almost like everybody's doing it because they just think that they need to do that. And then, unfortunately, they go to college, they're lost, and they get out of college, they're still lost. They get all these degrees, they get all these, you know, um, all this quote, knowledge about a specific, you know, German polka history major. And, it, you know, there's really just doesn't, doesn't actually lead into real world success, real world you know, business knowledge, real world um, examples of, of succeeding in whatever profession that you want to do. I think that you know, there's a lot of different careers, and in accounting included, that you don't necessarily need to spend four years in university and an extra year uh, in, in, in a master's degree in order to become, become a successful accountant. Instead, spend those five years and go out and work in the field. Create your own firm. Start working with clients immediately. Open up your own QuickBooks file and start doing your own personal accounting. Start doing your own taxes. Start learning this. Start figuring it out. Start getting into educational training programs that will get you the results that you want. Instead of, well, let me just go into college. I don't know my major. Maybe I'm undecided. And then, you know, struggle for three years, four years, spend a whole bunch of money, spend a whole bunch of debt, a lot of, a lot, unfortunately, a lot of loans out there. And then you just fall into accounting and then you just do that. You know, instead, you could u utilize your time more efficiently and more effectively where you can say, okay, this is what I want to do, and you just go out and you do it. And not really have as many barriers as you think that they're needed. So do I think that college in general is useless? No, of course not. I think that there's some people that go and get really significant value from it, and I think that's awesome. But I think that, you know, it, mo what's more important is what is that end result? What do you want to do? What do you want to become? What are, what are the things that you want to be able to do? And then from there, you pinpoint, okay, how can I do that? Right? If I want to just, if I want to become an accountant, if I want to own my own firm, that's my end result. I don't necessarily have to go to college to do that. However, if I want to have my end result where I want to sign off on public accounting opinions, then okay, I know that I need to, you know, that's my end result. Okay, what do I need to do to get there? Well, I do need to go ahead and get that CPA. Okay, what do I need to get that? And then you kind of break it down from there. So start with the end in mind. Figure out what it is that you want to do. And then from there, you can sort of fill into the pieces of how you want to get there. I 
see technology affecting the accounting pro profession as it already has. You know, there's te the t tools and the techniques and the software out there can you can allow you to start doing accounting immediately. You know, you don't necessarily have to go back to those, you know, green sheets where you're writing out T accounts and all that stuff. I mean, that's all embedded in the software and, 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 and you know, so there's certain softwares out there that have, make it so simple. I mean, there's TurboTax right now where anybody can literally do their taxes. You know, it's crazy that, that, that they've been able to create these kind of technologies where they're filing your taxes for you and you don't have to involve an accountant. So I think what has happened in this industry is that we've gotten a little bit complacent on, well, we just always do taxes and that's all we do, instead of, no, I need to actually think a little bit about how can I help this person? How can I solve the problems that they may, fa may be facing? Yeah, they're coming to me for a tax return, but is there tax planning opportunities? Do they need help on monthly accounting? Are they struggling on different areas from a, from a CFO perspective? You know, I think we as an accountant have the opportunity to really lend a helping hand, but we don't take it because we think that we just should just do their taxes and then that's it. So fortunately, technology has made accountants push push themselves outside of their comfort zone and force them to start thinking a little bit about what are some other areas that I can add value because my, my whole job is not just to do a basic tax return because TurboTax can do it for you. So I think that's really cool in some ways and it's, it's scared some accountants in, in, in other ways but in general I think that it's just going to get better and better and there it's going to force accountants to be on their toes to get better and better at helping and thinking instead of just doing. I think that what's broken about the current way people become accountants are, you know, they believe that they need to have experience. They need to have the CPA license. They need to be an EA. They need to go to college for years before they can actually be an accountant. They think that, you know, they're not qualified and they're not good enough and they need this certificate and that certificate and they need to get this more experience before they can actually be successful in this industry. And I think that, you know, it's a real shame because most people have the opportunity to you know start their own firm immediately and go out there start getting clients start helping people start implementing you know some of the some of the t tools and techniques and tactics that you know they may have learned immediately uh, and I think that there's been such a barrier on what you can and cannot do and nobody has been real clear about that where you know you can actually you know if you wanted to become an accountant tomorrow guess what you can you could become that accountant, you can become a bookkeeper, you can become a, you can become a CFO advisor, you can, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. And again, it goes back to having an end goal in mind where what do I want to become, who do I want to change into, and then how can I, what can I do to be able to get there the quickest and the fastest. And that's really what we've done in the accountingtax.com educational programs is we've taken you from the idea that, oh, I can't do this, it, it, it's too overwhelming to, no. Here are the tools, here are the tactics, here are the techniques, here's the strategies, here's the mindset help to be able to be successful as your own firm owner without having all those other certificates behind you. And instead, what you're doing is you're going out to the small business world and you're providing value and your value is then paid back to you in high fees because it's uh, it's useful instead of just being sort of a, uh, what, a what does Andrew usually call it? He goes like a, a parakeet paid to peck the keyboards. Um, instead, you're actually being a high value advisor and from there you can really, really change some lives and really help some people. So I think that that's such an opportunity there for accountants that people aren't don't, I've never been given the permission to succeed that way and that's what we're really trying to do here at accountingtax.com is we're giving you the permission to be successful in this field without X, Y, and Z, right? Without those certificates, without that knowledge, without that background, without that experience, we're saying you could do it and we'll show you how. I think the best part about the accountingtax.com educational programs is there's nothing else out there like this. You know, there's nowhere else where you can start and grow your own firm immediately you know where you're given the best tactics the best techniques the best uh, community the best coaches the best instructors the best you know help to get you to get to that end goal as quickly as possible so I think that you know the 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 program materials the the lessons the care and the uh, willingness to give you everything that you need immediately to be able to see success and also the fallback of we're not going to allow you to believe that you can't succeed because of X, Y, Z. We're getting rid of that X, Y, and Z and we're saying you can succeed and we're going to show you how. So I really think that there's huge value in the accountingtax.com educational programs that just allow you to have everything that you need to see that success in whatever path you want it.
I think picking your niche is significantly important, uh, especially from a lead generation perspective. You can uh, go into something like uh, Facebook, right? And you could put in whatever you want to try to find whatever group, whatever community. But if you don't know what that end result is, one of the one of the um, analogies I like to use it's like you go into Google search and you don't know what to put in there because Google search can literally take you wherever you want to go. You need to have that destination. You need to know who. You're you're going to be working with. You want to be clear on who you're reaching out to. So instead, from a lead generation perspective, if you're talking to a potential client and they're a dentist, and then you get on the phone with a real estate agent, and then you get on a phone with a teacher, I mean, those conversations are all going to be very, very, very diff diff different and difficult because you're not going to know the key problems of that industry because you're not going to know all industries. It goes back to you're not going to have all the different knowledge that you need to know to be able to solve everybody's problems. And it's easier for you and it's simpler and you can be more effective when you identify the one area that you want to help with, the one niche, the one market, the one offer that you really want to implement and be an expert at and then see success in that. The best part of the Next Level Firms program, I think, is the training material. You know, you've ne you, there's nothing else on the market out there where you can start watching it immediately and you could start seeing results fairly quickly. You know, as soon as you start implementing some of the trainings, you can start to see growth, not only in yourself, but in your business. So if you are thinking about joining the Next Level Firms program, I would say that, you know, it, it's more about are you really to are you ready to invest in yourself and are you ready to do whatever it takes to get to the results that you want? And if so, this is the program that's gonna allow you to do that. Now if you're going to sit back and say, well, I'm going to be indecisive or well, I'm going to be unsure and I'm just going to dibble daddle. I mean, that's one of the things that we confront on in the Nexel Firms program is look, it's time to start being successful. You know, your time to start dibble dabbling was two years ago. Now you need to get to work. So the uh, opportunity in the Nexel Firms program and what's so good about it is it tells you what you need to do and then we question you on why you're not doing it. And that's what I think is really cool about watching the community and say, look, I know what I need to do. I'm just going to do it. And we're all sort of there as a support to help you achieve those goals that you've set out for yourself. I think the best part about the Seven Figure Firms Mastermind is that you are around high caliber individuals that are willing to do whatever it takes to succeed. These are people that have said, look, I am going to take a stand. I'm going to hit these goals. I want to be a part of a more exclusive group and say and, and, and be able to utilize that group to help me get there. And no matter what, I'm not going to give myself excuses. No matter what, I'm not going to say that I can't do it. I can't do this because I know that I'm specifically in a group that's going to confront me on that and it's going to allow me to see success quickly. So the program is really amazing from a community perspective and also from a one-on-one -on -one trainings with with Andrew, well, he'll sit there and he'll confront you and he'll be able to work with you more specifically on the goals that you're trying to achieve and the barriers you're trying to overcome. And I think that that's something super unique and why we created the program because we wanted a more uh, intimate environment where you can, you know, really identify what are those areas that you need help on, get clear on what they are, and then you're expected to do it. So the program allows you to uh, see that success fairly quickly and, and, and you get the opportunity to be around other people that are all doing the same thing. So it's a very unique and different group that uh, I think, you know, if you get the chance to be a part of it, it's really, really, really unique and really cool. And um, also the other aspect of the Next Level Firms or the uh, Seven Figure Firms program is the fact that you go to events. You have the opportunity to go see other individuals in person you know every few months so that you can you know state your goals state what you're trying to do state the barriers that you're overcoming overcome them and then you can check in the next few months after that so I think it's just a really unique opportunity to be in a more intimate group with high caliber individuals that are just trying to see success fairly quickly the best part about the accountingtax.com community really is the fact that there's so many people that have dedicated and taken a stand and saying, look, I'm going to invest in myself and I'm going to do whatever it takes to succeed and I'm going to be a part of a group that's all, that's all focused on results. I'm not going to sit there, I'm not going to whine, I'm not going to complain, I'm going to do whatever it takes to see success and oh, oh, by the way, anybody that's in this community can help me get 
to that point. Everybody there in the community is there to support, is there to help, is there to answer your questions. If you're freaking out that something happened, they're there. Uh, and the other aspect of the community is, you know, these are all people that have taken that stand that they want to be better. So when they see that, you know, you may be complaining or when they see that you might be struggling, they're willing to be there to give you that helping hand. And you're not just another, you know, number in this community. You know, you're, you actually develop incredible friendships and incredible opportunities to refer business and to uh, help each other out. You know, you might be really good at tax but need somebody that's really good at accounting and you might find that ideal partner inside the Next Level Farms community. So I think that the accountingtax.com communities in general just provide you with that opportunity to be around, you know, people that are willing to do whatever it takes to succeed and uh, give you that help and give you that support all while you're trying to do the same thing that they are. Marketing as a firm owner is super important and if you're not doing it or if you're not thinking about it or you don't have processes in place to be implementing marketing on an everyday basis then you're doing something wrong. You need to always be focused on how am I getting more clients? How am I getting more prospects on my calendar? And if you are somebody that's like look you know I get referrals to the door and everybody that comes to the door I close 100% well you're doing something wrong. Right? Your prices are too low. You know, you're having too many people that are not in your niche. You're working too much. You know, so marketing gives you the opportunity to go after certain types of people. You know, go, you have to go ahead and pick that niche. Go after certain types of people and be willing to, you know, start charging more, you know, and, and, and be willing to not, not everybody that you talk to says yes. You know, most people will say no, but those people that say yes on the high fee that you're offering uh, is exactly what you want to be doing. So again, it goes back to work, you know, work less and make more. I mean, that's really the, the goal here. So you have the opportunity to uh, really talk to, you know, talk to prospects on a weekly basis and sign up new clients and get the growth that you're looking for if you are focusing on marketing on an everyday basis. And if you're not, I mean, you're not going to have that calendar of prospects backed up. You know, and if a, fi if a client fires you, you might be stressing out and, and, and you stressing out of trying to scramble and find the next marketing or, or find the next marketing tool that's going to work for you. You know, it, it's not going to work for, you know, and it's just going to be too late. So you need to be thinking about marketing on an everyday basis, and if you haven't, you need to start. Uh, and that's what's something that we really push on in the accountingtax.com programs is making sure that you're doing it consistently and it's producing results for you. Because the other thing is you could be doing something consistently and it's not producing results for you. Well, you need to make sure that it actually is going to give you the results that you want and give you the meetings on the calendar with the right people. So marketing is very, very important and I would highly recommend everybody that is a firm owner themselves or looking to start their own firm be able to implement it fairly quickly. I would say the best part about the accountingtax.com live conferences is the opportunity to meet everybody in person. You know, these are all people that you may have talked to uh, in the Q&A calls. These are the people that you may have already, you know, communicated with offline or you've private messaged in Facebook or you've written in the Facebook community or in the Facebook group that, you know, you you've, you've helped other people. Well, now you get to actually see them in person and talk to them and network and be a part of their lives a little bit more and 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 really develop friendships. And so that's really what happens at the uh, live, live conferences, the accountingtax.com live conferences, is you get a bunch of people that are trying to you know, be better in, in, in who they are and what they're trying to do and uh, see results. And being around that just gets you excited, gets you pumped, gets you wanting to you know, overcome some of those barriers that you may be having and, and not take any excuses. And that, that conference just fuels you to be able to, to overcome those next few months of barriers until the next conference where you can uh, come back again and, and, and you can uh, see the results and you, you can see the effectiveness that you've had. So I think that it just gives you a boost of energy. It's such a fun group. Uh, this community that we've built at countydex.com are such caring people, people that are just trying to help each other out and see success and, and root on success. And I think that you just want to be a part of that. That's just amazing energy to be around and, and it just gives you that gives you that bit of fun that you that you want and, and 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 you might think that an accounting conference might be boring but trust me these are these are pretty pretty fun conferences and and, and really an opportunity to make make friends um, and 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 be around people that are trying to be successful I think that failure is something that 
is always going to happen. You know, there's always going to be ups and downs. It's not something that you can avoid, really, where because you're not going to be good at everything. And if you're not facing failure, then you're probably not doing anything that's pushing yourself outside the comfort zone. You're probably not pursuing those goals, or if you are pursuing those goals, their goals are set too low. So you want to be able to be pushing yourself. You want to get outside the comfort zone. You want to fall down when you're on that bicycle and, and scrape those knees. You want to get a little bit tougher. Um, so I think that failure is definitely something that happens but the other thing is that you have to think to yourself you know you are in control of your life nobody else is controlling your life nobody else is telling you what to do when to do it how to do it it's up to you to make the decision whether or not you want to do it for example this is a, this is a perfect example of you know you choose to brush your teeth you know there's nobody telling you to brush your teeth you're not five anymore you know there's no five-year-olds watching this right you tell yourself to brush your teeth well why what are you trying to get from it well you want to get you know your healthy teeth you want to make sure that your mouth's clean you want to feel good right so you're in control of that and it's the same thing with your life you know in general and your business you are the one that's in control and it's up to you to overcome some of those barriers that come in your way and face that failure head on and be the one that's going to be able to overcome that. So, you know, the, the responsibility lies on you and when you have the responsibility that lies on you, you can now do something about it. I think a lot of times people push the responsibility on other people and then they feel helpless. They feel like a victim. But what we do in the accountingtax.com community is say, look, the, you know, you're in the driver's seat. It's up to you to, you know, turn on that car and start it and, and get it, put that put that uh, goal and that destination in that GPS. So make sure that you know you recognize that you're the one that's in control and you are the one that's going to be able to overcome whatever barrier that happens and whatever failure that you get thrown at because you could just pick yourself back up and be at it the next day. So as long as you realize that, look, it's just up to you to be in control, then you have the real opportunity to to see success because it's yours. Well, I would first think that they would say I'm the wife. <laughs> so uh, obviously I'm married to, to Andrew. And I think that they would say that I, you know, I'm really passionate about lead generation. I think it's very interesting. I think that the technology that's out there to help people implement certain methods to get uh, appointments is uh, awesome. So I, I, I love the opportunity that I get the chance to speak to the community about lead generation. And one of the other aspects that I think that they would say that I'm, that I'm pretty, pretty interesting about is messaging. I think that messaging is so interesting. What do you say to somebody that you've never met to com get them to convert and to get on your calendar? I think that they're, it's fascinating to me. So I would think that you know they would say that I'm just super nerdy and super geeky when it comes to lead generation and technology and tools like that. But I'm also the wife. So I think I've had a client tell me that you're kind of a little. Uh, you know, you're a little sprightly, a little energetic, a little extrovert, uh, but all of those things combined, I'm just super passionate about what we're doing and who we're helping, and um, I think the community is, I think they liked me being a part of it, actually. <laughs> So if you're skeptical about having your own business, that's okay. Uh, you should be. It's Having your own business is stressful. It's not something that is super easy. And if it was, most people would do it. So I think that you have to understand that there's a lot of emotions that come with owning your own business and being your own boss. I think I wrote an article as soon as I quit my job where I talked about the differences of entrepreneurship versus the corporate world. And there are differences. You know, you, you don't have that boss telling you what to do. You, Instead, you're the one dictating it, and that can be pretty frightening, especially if you're an emotional person like I am. So you have to understand that a lot of these fears will come out that you've never experienced before. A lot of insecurities are going to come out that you're not used to, but that's normal. And the faster you can overcome those insecurities and the faster you can overcome those fears, the quicker you are to be able to be successful in your business and starting that firm. So I would say that, you know, the emotions are going to be there. You're going to be afraid of things and that's okay, but know that they're not real. Know that other people have succeeded that are, you know, have less experience than you. Other people have succeeded that may be younger than you. Other people have succeeded that may just have a different background than you and that's okay. Okay. So people have done it before. You know, there are people out there that have successful accounting uh, accounting firms. You know, the accounting tax community is you know a great aspect to see that. But you know, you're going to have all these different fears and thoughts and, and emotions of why you can't do this. But just know that they're not real, and it's not something you need to pay attention to. And just say, okay, I get that I'm scared right now, but too bad. 
I want this for me. I want to be successful in this. I want to have my own business. I don't want to be working for somebody else. So keep that in mind when you're going through things. And you know, from the skeptical perspective, know that a lot of a lot of those emotions just aren't that real. And just do it. You know, what is holding you back? What are the things that are stopping you from you know hitting those dreams of having your own business and being successful in it? You know, and just know that it's been done before and, 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 and it's okay. You know, everything's going to be okay. You know, it's not going to be the end of the world. You can do it. Other people have done it before. And if you're really passionate about making sure you make this happen, you'll have everything that you need as part of this accountingtax.com community. For those of you who are thinking about starting an accounting career, I would say the sooner you start, the better. And the other aspect of it is if you are just like a little bit curious about the accounting world, the first step that I would do is open up your own free trial of a QuickBooks uh, accounting software or zero accounting software and uh, start, it, it, it just try it out. See what you think. Do your own personal accounting. Start budgeting. See what you think from there. You've got friends that you know maybe have some you know financial issues. Just start asking them questions. Get real curious about the financial side of the world. I mean, you have to understand that money touches everybody in every aspect. So why not start bringing it up at the dinner table conversations? Why not ask your sister how much money are you saving? You know, why not bring up the conversation that nobody normally brings up and start getting curious about it, and then see if you like it. And if you do like it, then get even more curious about it. Start getting the right education on getting you to the point of uh, getting you to the to the goal that you want to have if you want to have your own firm you know find the programs that are going to work the best for you find the knowledge that's going to work for the best for you find the quickest way to be able to be successful in whatever that desired goal is for you uh, but everything's there for you to start immediately so just do it so Andrew is my husband so I have to tread lightly here on this question but uh, what's a, as, as, a, as a wife, he's amazing. He's an incredible human being. And, and, and as somebody that I get the opportunity to work with, he's also amazing. You know, he's somebody that I would say the word for him would be relentless. He's relentlessly focused on getting the clients the, their best results. He's relentlessly focused on transforming lives. He's relentlessly focused on, you know, calling you out when you think that you believe something that's false. You know, and he really just provides that extra layer of care to get you to succeed and, and, and not and not keep those barriers that you've created for yourself and, and allow you to believe that they're real. So he gives you that extra aspect of, you know, look, I'm going to confront you. It's going to be uncomfortable. It's, you know, I'm going to expect more from you. And, you know, it's going to hurt a little bit. If you have a little bit of emotions, you're going to think that's a bit uncomfortable. But it's really good. You know, nobody else is in your life confronting you and telling you, look, the lies that you're telling yourselves are not true. The things that you say that you can't do are not true. The goals that you say that you can't hit are not true. That's really what Andrew does. And I think he's done an incredible job at bringing this to light in the accountingtax.com community. And that's why we've seen such huge successes in this community because we're not just doing it and, and letting people skip by and it just be okay. No, we want an amazing community. We want an amazing program. We want an amazing company. We want an amazing relationship. So all of those things is something that he's really passionate about and he brings to the table. And I think that if you get the opportunity to meet him, if you get the opportunity to work with him, it's incredible and it could change your life. I think the thing that we're most proud of in the accountingtax.com community is the fact that everybody is so helpful to each other. You know, we've created a community where no matter your background, no matter your experience, no, no matter your expertise, you're willing to help each other out and you're willing to give that helping hand and you're also willing to ask for help. And I think that chemistry and that bond that we have in that community and the fact that we're all trying to push each other up instead of, you know, a lot of the stuff out there in the world, they're trying to cut each other down and that really doesn't happen in this and this community that we built up. So we're, I'm really kind of proud about that and think that that's something that's just allowed additional people in this community to just be even more successful because they have sort of a force of support and, and good, good positive energy behind them that's showing there and, and giving their support when, when you see success. I think the biggest roadblock that people have when starting their own firm is that they just don't know where to start. They don't know what to do. They they may have like some general idea of what they should or shouldn't do, but it's usually something that, you know, an old friend that's never done it before has just kind of, you know, 
talked in their ear. You know, they don't know what what are the right things to do. There's so much noise out there. There's so much information out there that's conflicting that they don't know what is it that I should be focused on. And instead, unfortunately, in the entrepreneurship world, like you start doing, you start going down all these other paths that aren't the right path. And I think that's something that we've really done well in the accounting tax community is we've just cut out all the nonsense, all the fat, all the things that you don't need to be focused on. And we're just focused on the things that you need to know, the quickest way to, get, to know those things to get you the results the fastest. So I think that what's really cool about, you know, specifically the accountingtex.com programs is that we really try to get you that information, the right information in the quickest amount of time to have you see this, the most amount of success. So I think that that's something that, you know, is really, really beneficial and helpful. Sales is something that if you don't have sales, you don't have a business. Right, and, and even if it's something that you think that it could just be a little bit of a hobby, but if you don't have an actual sales coming in, if you're not growing your practice, if you're not constantly seeing new clients come in and seeing the revenue generated, well then your, your practice is dying and, and we don't like to see that. So I think that sales is something that you know people don't want to do. A lot of accountants think that they're bad at sales and I think that for you, you know, you can just kind of get rid of that old belief that you're bad at it and start becoming really good at it. Start to take programs and invest in yourself to be able to be good at sales and, and be a killer salesperson and, and, and add more sales to your business every single week and bring on new clients every single week and be able to have the firm that you want to have and, and bring on the clients that you want to have. So I think that sales is so, so important. I mean, it's the top line on any income statement, right? So you need, you need to think about that for your business. You know, a lot a lot of times we focus a lot on our service delivery instead of the sales and sales is what's going to be driving that profit at the end of the day. So, you know, make sure that you have, you know, tools in place, techniques in place, tactics in place where you are focused on sales. You have a lead generation pipeline working where you're constantly meeting with prospects every single week and you're, com you're converting them into clients and if not, well, you need to be looking into you know, programs to get you to do that. And that's what we do here at accountingdocs.com where we really want you to focus on the right things in your practice. And one of the main ones is sales. I think it's incredibly important to invest in yourself. I think it's something that most people don't think is an option where they just, you know, struggle and struggle and struggle and you know the dreams that they've had and the things that they've wanted to do has never come true because they've never actually taken a step back and said, look, I want to get to a certain point. What knowledge can I acquire to get me there? What, are, what knowledge from books, what knowledge from programs, what knowledge from mentors can I utilize to get me to that goal? I think most people haven't picked out that they had that goal, and if they have, they're not really willing to overcome some of those fears and do the necessary things like invest in yourself to get you to those results. So I think that if you're if you have a goal in mind of what you want to do and you don't necessarily think it's valuable to invest in yourself, it's going to be really, really, really hard for you to get to that goal. You know, try to get it, try to invest in things that are going to take you to that goal quicker and faster and, and, and get you the results that you need um, as, as soon as possible and, and, and make sure that it's results oriented because there's no reason to invest in yourself. To, and, and one of the biggest problems with college is, yeah, look, I invested in myself, I went to college, but the problem with that is I spent a lot of years where it was just, I invested in American history too. I mean, did I really need to know? I probably can't recite anything from American history too, or English four, or any, you know, or golf, where I took golf in college. I mean, all those things I didn't need to do. I should have taken that time, should have taken that money that we spent on school, and I should have invested it in myself and learning the things that I needed to learn to actually become the successful accountant that I wanted to become. So investing yourself is super important, and it's something that is necessary if you really want to see success in your life. And you really want to take things to the next level. Well, I think if you're skeptical about the accountingtax.com programs, I mean, I think that's a really good thing. You know, you really want to make sure that you are going to be investing in the right program for you and see the success that you want to have. But the thing is that when it comes to skepticism, you have to understand that where is this emotion coming from? You know, is it actually logical? Is it is it giving you the, uh, it's a lot, is it putting you on the path to really helping you find the right answer? Or is it actually something that's more on a fear-based, where you have this strong emotion, you think 
think that you're skeptical, you think it's something that's not, it's too good to be true, and you're fearful of it, and you're not willing to overcome those fears. And that's something that I would ask you to question is, you know, are you allowing your fears to hold you back from seeing the success that you want? Or are you uh, really just, you know, making sure that you're finding the right thing that's going to get you to the results that you want? And that's where, you know, inside the accountingtax.com program, and, and specifically in the community, I mean, these are people that said, look, I want to have this goal, and I want to utilize this program to get me this to this goal. And we've seen tons and tons and tons of results just from the fact that people have stated that these are the goals that I want, and I'm going to invest in myself, and I'm going to make sure I make this happen. And then they wind up doing that. So I think that if you're skeptical, it's something that, you know, you, you want to make sure that you weigh with the fact that you might be fearful. And, and you know, spend some time in the accountingtax.com website, you know, check out some of the testimonials that we've seen from our clients. And, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to need to bite the bullet and do something. You know, the worst thing that you could do is just have these options on the table and just stare at options for the rest of your life. You're going to need to take a chance. You're going to need to do something crazy and, 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 and push yourself outside of those comfort zones. And, you know, the best thing about the accountingtax.com program is, you know, we're here to support you. We're here to get you to those results as quickly as possible. And we want you to see success. So if you're willing to take that chance to, you know, be better in what it is that you want to accomplish, then, you know, come aboard and be a part of this community and be a part of people that are trying to do the exact same thing. So the accountingtax.com programs, I mean, it's just been such a fun journey to be on and work with so many people where their lives have changed and they've been impacted in such a positive manner. And they're trying to just be better, you know, be better in their life, be better in their business, be willing to go, you know, go outside those comfort zones and face those fears. I mean, to get the opportunity to work with people like that all day long. And I, and I, and admire them and I support them. And I just love the fact that I have a little bit of a hand in helping somebody achieve the goals that they want. So the fact that I get to do this as my job on an everyday basis, I mean, I couldn't have asked for anything better that I want in my life. So from the fact that how has it changed it, I mean, it's completely transformed how I see the accounting industry, how I see success in people, how I get the opportunity to confront some people when they are fearful. And I can call them out and I can, and, and obviously in a nice and calm way, but I can call them out and say, look, I know that this is something that you might be afraid of, but we need to do it. We need to get you out there. We need to put you in front of prospects and we need to get you new clients. So I get the opportunity to work with people that are trying to transform their lives and be better human beings in their business and in their life. And I think it's just absolutely incredible journey. And I'm so, so, so excited to be a part of it. So if you're wondering whether or not you can really actually be successful in any of the accountingdocs.com programs, I would say, you know, you want to make sure that you realize that people have done what you want to do before. People have had success in the, in the areas that you want to be successful in. People, it's, it, it, and, and they're actually humans that have done it. You know, it's not like somebody who has necessarily, you know, been a robot that did it, right? It, 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 there's other humans out there that have actually seen the success, so it's possible. It's definitely possible, totally possible. And, you know, what's really great about the countytax.com programs are we give you everything you need that to, to, to succeed, and we even confront you on the mindset of the things that are holding you back. So we won't let you just sit there and complain and whine and be negative and say, I can't do this. We'll say, no, you can do this. Here are what you need to do. You need to do it. And we need to put you to work and we need to get you out there and we need to get you to confront those fears. And what has happened is people have taken some of those fears that they've confronted and overcome that not only in their business, but also in their life. So I think that in general, the one piece of advice for somebody that's wondering whether or not I can do it, I mean, the answer to that is, of course you can. And don't think back that you can't in any other way. I've, I've, absolutely, it's possible. It's been done before, and it will be done again. So stop contemplating whether or not you can or can't do it and say, look, I'm going to sit in the mirror and I'm going to tell myself I can do this. You know, there's a famous cartoonist that, uh, his name's Scott Adams, that wrote Dilbert that would write affirmations every single day that I'm going to become a famous, cart a famous cartoonist. He would write that down every single day for 15 years and guess what happened? He became a famous, a world famous cartoonist. I think one of the most famous business cartoonists out there in the world today. So, 
you know, it's something that if you write it down, if you if you uh, state it out loud, if you tell people, you're going to make it happen. It's those goals that you have in your head that you never let anybody know and you never proclaim and you never invest in yourself and you never try to, you know, get better and learn what you need to do to hit those goals. I mean, that's where it just never happens for you. So, you know, don't think that you can't do it because, you know, somebody else is struggling. You know, it, it, it's totally in your control and totally up to you and it's totally right there in front of you that you just need to grab hold and just say, this is what I want to do and I'm going to be successful at it.